Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to discuss about document of authorization. So document of authorization certifies that the ship has been provided with information necessary for it to comply with the requirements of IMSPC code. So the keywords are it certifies that the informations are provided which are necessary for it to comply with the IMSPC code. And the document of authorization plus the grain loading booklet must be kept on board and produced for inspection. Now the stability requirements for ships loading grain without the document of allowance. So there are basically five requirements and we will discuss all of them one by one. So the weight of the grain loaded cannot exceed one third of what dead weight, not displacement, not tonnage, the dead weight. Second is all grain surfaces in filled compartments must be restricted by a center line division. So the keyword is must be restricted by a center line division. And this center line division extends for full length of compartment. It extends for full length of compartment. And this uh, center line division extends for full length of compartment from where to where? From the underside, from the underside of deck or hatch cover to a depth below the deck. And uh, this depth is, depth depth is what? One eighth of the maximum breadth or 2.4 meter. One eighth of maximum breadth or 2.4 meter, whichever is greater. Alternatively, saucering and bundling may be used except in the case of line seeds. So this is the second and most important one. Third is all free grain surfaces in partly filled compartments. All free grain surfaces in partly filled compartments. Second one is for filled compartments and must be trimmed, level and secured by over stowing, strapping or lashing or by wire mesh. So for partly filled compartments, it must be trimmed level and secured by overstowing, strapping or lashing or by wire mesh. Fourth one, all the hatch covers to the twin decks must be in place and battened. But why? To prevent the grain flowing into the lower hole. Flowing into lower hole. Now the fifth one, the GM fluid, the GM fluid throughout the voyage should not be less than 0.3. GM fluid should not be less than 0.3 or that obtained by the following formula. The formula is very tough. <laughs> L into B into VD where L is the total combined length of uh, all full compartments. B is the molded breadth of the vessel. SF is the storage factor. VD is the calculated average void depth and W is the displacement in tons. So this formula, I don't think you need to remember it, but you need to remember the 0.3 meter. And at last, the master should demonstrate that ship complies. The master should demonstrate that ship complies with the requirements prior loading. So these things are important from the topic of document of uh, authorization and hope you have liked it.